this is a bit of an experiment really um all i had is uh cut down um 50 or 45 gallon um, hdp blue barrel it looks a bit turquoise in the camera it's just one of those blue ones but um so what i've got here it's um there's no holes in the bottom so it doesn't drain it just fills with water but i've got a tree stump big log and that's just standing up it's a bit short this one um another one here i've got that's uh, about two foot long so a foot of that is actually above the uh, the level of the uh, well i don't know what the water level is but the, the maximum potential water level in the in the reservoir so being a tree it's still got the um the little tubular sort of um water transportation sort of uh, vessels in the in the tree itself so that's um computer reaction is, is they're still in use and it's wicking uh, moisture and you can see around the back there it's a uh, it's a little bit darker there and it's it's uh, so it's a whole damp area you can see it's the center of the tree and then just uh, where the bark is it's slightly drier you can see a little bit of movement there there's some composting worms actually in there and uh, the center of the trunk's completely rotting out and it's um, replaced by this really nice dark sort of uh, worm cast or compost and you can see there's little worms in there again but these are quite good what i thought it would be it's it's a nice sort of instant sort of retaining wall so if you're going to build a, a compost bin or something and you want to make a bank up to have a sort of landscape um it's a it's a sort of double sort of purpose thing as well because it's creating compost and it's a nice weight so that that's holding up a couple of feet of um of bark and wood chip there what i'm really trying to do is just disguise some of these uh dialect compost bins so i'm making them a bit more discreet and getting a much more habitat around them as well using that that wasted space this is amazing because it's completely hollowed out i'm not really sure what i'm going to find if i dig too much down there i would have thought there'd be a lot of um what do you call them uh the uh lesser stag beetles i don't really like i shouldn't really be doing this but yeah you can see the tree oh, that whole core coming out wood lice some worms going through the bark there this is really wet really saturated you can see the glistening water down there but you, you can see where the uh, the worms have been there's some larvae there as well wood lice right in the water and you can just look down you can see the the wood lice down there doing their thing i don't want to squash them but i'll, I'll put some of this material back for, so they've got a bit of cover but yeah quite quite successful and um yeah, all this wood chip is nice and damp, so it maintains that damp sort of uh, habitat. Look at this beautiful moth. Amazing, isn't it? What's interesting, though, is it's uh, camouflaged, but where the white is sort of leaching out from the, the bark is sort of latched onto that bit. Oh, first of all, I just saw this piece of fungus. Amazing. Little fuzzy little head. Just six little black legs. Yeah, but it just goes to show a bit of old timber that that's actually rotted. It's actually right through. Brilliant. You little worm there, that. Yeah. And this one is, as I said, that's a couple of feet. And you can see the bark there is really, really damp. So it really makes a habitat, especially for fungi. Look, you can see the little wood lice under there. And that was the whole two feet of that is uh, staying damp. So the idea is over, over winter that will just break down. And then it's just a case of getting a tree surgeon to drop some logs off and just chuck them in and make a, make a habitat. And I, I think I'll just keep building on this and make stumperies. And I've got logs and things around here. Um, I've got to get some wood chip around there as well. Great. I just like that use of uh, salvage materials, reclaimed materials, and a bit of thought and a bit of time, and then you make this habitat.